Hey there, it's that time of year where you might want to have a file. I'm here to give you some tips on how to have a clean, efficient file. Because when you have a file, you're going to have smoke, that might be air pollution. I talked to some experts in uh, air quality and I've learned quite a few things about file, so let's go over how to have a good file. First, you want to make sure that your chimney is in good working condition. Make sure that it's cleaned. If you need it, call a chimney sweep and have them come sweep it out. Second, and this is something that's very important, is making sure you have the right fuel. And by fuel, I mean dry wood. This is a good example right here. And you can get a moisture meter, this little tool, to help check that. And you're looking for fuel or wood that is 20% or lower when it comes to moisture. Third, you want to have a small hot file. Start with small pieces of wood and build it up by adding one small piece at a time, avoiding large pieces that would actually slow down the file. Fourth, you can start for about a minute with the door of a wood stove open, but then you want to close it up. Closing the door lets the wood stove do its job and lets the file inside burn more efficiently. Ah, a nice warm file. Couple other quick tips. With the damper, you want to leave it open so you get plenty of oxygen to the file. Check out your chimney to see how you're doing. If you see smoke, you have unburned fuel going up. You want to just see heat waves. That's an indication of a nice, hot, efficient file. Also, a wrapper regulates homewood burning in this area, so check out uh, the online resources to see if it's a bone day or not. The number one air pollution in wintertime around Lane County is wood smoke, so having a nice, efficient file in your wood stove helps keep air pollution down. Hey, enjoy your file.